Hello everyone! How's it going? Happy Tuesday. How are things? Got something exciting in store today. We are unboxing a whole bunch of lab equipment that uh, Keysight sent over for the new shop. So I'm pretty excited about that. How's everybody doing? Hi Mr. John! Hi Mac Prince! I'll let a few people pop in here. I got my tea. Hi, Indigo. Yes, still in the US, in northern New Mexico. Strange hair. Yeah, it's getting a little wild. We need to get another haircut. Hey, Israel. Yeah, I've been I've been well, as as well as as one can be in 2020. I hope you've been good too. Yeah, uh, thanks. The shop is uh, is finally coming together. I'm pretty excited. Hey, Tigger, yes, I am starting to stream on Twitch. Well, uh, this is still a learning process for me, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Hey, Timber from Oss. Which Oss? The one down under or the one out east? <clears throat> Oh yeah, school and stuff. That uh, that must be rough. Are you are you online? You must be online. Yes. Yes. Uh, Mobique, I will accept donations as soon as um, uh, as soon as Twitch starts letting me. Basically, I I have to stream a little bit more to uh, to get to be an affiliate or partner or whatever. But yes, that will happen. I I really appreciate that. Oh man, yeah, I, I can't imagine doing uh, doing school online, particularly uh, particularly engineering online. Um, that sounds rough. Hi, O Thug McGuffin, O Thug Muffin. It's good to have you here. Yes, it is going to be a scope, and but they sent me a giant box, so I don't know what else is in here. I, there are a bunch of smaller boxes inside the bigger box, so there may be some surprises. Uh, I am drinking tea. I'm drinking Good Earth uh, Sweet and Spicy Decaf because it's late in the day. Uh, the quote of the day is, if plan A didn't work, the alphabet has 25 more letters. Which said, <laughs> I hadn't read it before just now. That's perfect advice for strange parts. Fits, fits nicely. Alright, uh, let's, uh, let's jump into this. Um, I am excited to see what's in here. Um, Daniel over at Keysight uh, is a fan of the, the channel, and uh, Keysight is excited to uh, help outfit the lab here. So when, once he saw, he and I have been talking for, gosh, over a year now. We met at, uh, met at Supercon last year, and, um, and he hooked me up with, a, uh, with this multimeter, um, and he said, well, once you get your new lab set up, wherever it is, let me know, and we'll send you some gear. And so when he saw that I had this set up, he said, oh my god, i got to send you gear. So... Um, so I'm excited to unbox it and try it out. So I thought I would do it on stream and uh, we can all check it out together. Because everybody loves new toys. So I have not really opened it up hardly at all. Um, I just took the, enough paper off to see that there were a whole bunch of things in here. So, gosh. Should we open the small things first? Because I, I know as soon as I open, I know there's an oscilloscope in there, and as soon as I open it up, uh, I'm gonna spend a ton of time wanting to turn it on and get it, get it up and running. So let's see what's in here. <laughs> nice. Some key, key sight swag here. This is not sponsored other than they sent it to me. Um, Got some Keysight glasses, bottle opener, and uh, I assume this is more swag, but let's see here. Oh, let me, uh, sorry, let me uh, switch to this. Oh yes, uh, they have some nice, um, some nice PCB rulers 
here. These are pretty cool. A couple folks give these away. Um, these are particularly nice. Got all the various references, hole sizes. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, length of of um, of wavelengths. That's pretty cool. This is all like RF stuff. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is all like antenna designs and things. This is very cool. Dual band fractal antenna. You guys see that well? Come on, focus. There we go. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna spend too long on the on the swag, but I want to see what it, at least what it is. Okay, it's two of them. This one has something different on it. It has logic. That's pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Right. Get those out of the way. Very cool. See what this is. What's oh, hand packed? Oh, more, more swag. <laughs> Which is perfect. I could use another tea, uh, tea mug in the shop here. All right, let's get into the more electronics looking boxes. So, I have two boxes. One, yeah, let's see, let's hide. Daniel's business card. Uh, I don't know that he needs everybody calling him. Oh, okay. So, which one do we open first? The big one or the small one? I'll let you guys choose. All right, we got... Four for big one, two for small one. You get a couple more boat votes here. Okay. Are we doing doing big one? Okay. It seems like big one is the winner here. Well, we were going small to largest. That is true. Can we see? Oh, I gotta be careful because there's uh, more packing slips and stuff on here. Hang on. I don't want to uh, dox anybody. Ugh. Okay. I, I, I genuinely don't know. I know that there is a scope in here. I don't know what the other thing is. <laughs> You get two, twice as many votes because you're in, from Florida. Yeah, I, I think that only happens once every four years. Uh, okay, I, I hear the most votes for big one, so let's do that. We were going smallest to largest, but we got overruled by the chat. All right, here we go. Uh, let's switch to this. And of course, there's a bunch of boxes inside. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. What have we got? not a box, that's just a cart piece of cardboard. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is a power supply. This is not the scope. Awesome. Triple output programmable DC power supply. Well, we're gonna have to fire it up here. What do we got? Yeah, three different outputs. This thing's hefty. All right. How am I gonna do this so that we all can look at it? Let me move around. Some cameras. Uh, let's see. I bet it has power cables. 
certificate of calibration. How you know we're serious? Um, this is perfect. I also need a desktop power supply. Okay, let's see. Where am I going to plug this in? All right. Hang on. Uh, I shall be back. Find plugs. I have mentioned it before, but power is in short supply in this. Haha, <laughs> that was a good pun. That was unintentional. But power is in short supply in this uh, in the shop. And so it's always a little bit of a game of what do I plug it into and will it blow the circuit breaker? We'll be back. So you get this eye taken out by the corner of the cardboard box. Okay, uh, let's see, we, we all need to be able to see this in all its glory. Uh, hang on, I need to reorganize some. Uh, Israel, I have, um, I have 20 amps total. Well, I have 20 amps out of the sockets in here. I have two sockets that are 20 amps for the whole room. Uh, and then I have an extension cord that goes outside and around the corner of the building to another circuit, which is another 20 amps. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Um, balance it on the back. Yeah. I'm kind of watching. Wow, it has, a, it has an Ethernet jack on it. And USB? That's freaking fancy. Wow. And then it's got, uh, it's got pinouts. I don't know what you do with those. You integrate them into your bench, I guess. Then USB on the front. Okay, let's see. We need to move cameras around. Um, give me a minute. I'm still dialing in this whole uh, live streaming thing. Oh, God. that but lower oh, yes okay um yes but maybe not upside down um okay let's flip it over Yes, yes. Mm. MacBrit says Scotty's gonna have to build his own lab network too. Yeah, I think that's where we're headed. Um, let's see. Which one is this? Jess oh hey Jesse. Uh that is Jesse from Keyboard IO. I was just watching uh Esden modifying your uh your keyboard design. Um, let's see, what is this? This is an E36313A. 36, I think, yes. It is that series. Uh, E3631. a Key site. I think it is, I got it. I don't know if Jesse's got it. Oh, hey, KWF. <laughs> I did not know who you were. 
Okay, yes, uh, the link that, that Jesse just posted, over Jesse just posted, is what we were talking about here. So, can you all see it? Oh, I don't want to spill my tea. Okay, wait. Mm, we're gonna prop it up. Let's take everything out of this box. I need to get my camera mount down on the table. It's holding the uh, microphone right now. Okay. How's that? It, it seems a little out of focus. It seems okay. We're gonna get this right. Hi, T-Broad. Yes, we are doing some serious unboxing of new toys here. Okay, now we just gotta get this thing to focus. Focus, dang you. There we go. Okay. Yes, yes. Thumbs up. Oh, that is awesome. It's the high current. Oh, is it mirrored? It is, good call. Okay, we'll, we'll fix that. Ah, oh, but now it's out of frame again. Okay, wait, okay, I can do this. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. Nice, okay. Yes, the, oh gosh. This will do six volts at 10 amps. 25 volts at two amps, and 25 volts at two amps. That's exciting. Okay, should we turn it on? Are we ready? Everybody ready? Let me get a sip of tea. Here we go. <laughs> okay, that was it. Oh, here we go. Ooh. This is exciting. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't have any, uh, any cables to hook these up to yet. Let's see, let's get the, uh, the multimeter. How does this work? Oh, so we've got our set points here, and then what it's actually putting out here. And then you can switch between them. Oh, that's pretty satisfying. And then these are, oh, on-offs? Yes. That's exciting. And then all on, all off, yes. Let's see, what else can we do here? No, no cables in the box. Um, what did we get in the box? I took some stuff out. I've got terminal plugs, some sort. What are these? Connectors. But these are uh, terminal blocks for the back. Um, so those plug into those. I don't know if you guys saw it, the green pins in the back. Hey, Ping Hazian. Yes, I do stream as of now. This is relatively new. I don't think these are remote control lines. I think. Do you think that's what they are, Kidabura? Or. Yet lock. It looks to me like they're outputs. I could be wrong. Ping high in, sorry. I don't know what that means. Live streaming is POG. I don't know what that means. Um wait, what's in here? I know it's not cables, but Oh whoa. That's that's a serious choke. Holy cow. Okay, what does it say? Ferrite core. Um, yeah. Read it with me. Compliant to EMC IEC 61000 for three standard requires a ferrite core. Uh, 
go on your output cables here. Okay. Well, that goes with these. Here. It goes with uh, these terminal blocks. I'll put those together. But it seems like we're not quite ready. This is a power supply. This is a really nice benchtop power supply. So, I am just figuring it out here. What else can we do? Um, so we're settings. Gosh, I don't know what half these things are. This is far nicer a power supply than I have ever touched. Put settings. Whoa. Oh, so this is so you can, this is delays so that you can delay in what order your different uh, three power supplies turn on and off. I guess if you need, if you have different parts of your circuit or your, your bench layout that need to come on before others. That's pretty cool. Oh wow, is it is it that much? Israel, that's uh that's intense. Um holy crap. Daniel was good to me here. Okay. Uh Keysight was good to me. Alright, output settings, output list. Oh that's nice. And you can step through different voltages. Wow, for certain amounts of time. So you can set a voltage and a current and an amount of time, and then step through them. This is all me guessing here. So, okay. Pietlock is, is schooling us here. So the two left terminal blocks are for the three channels and remote sense. So you can hardwire the power supply so text can't change anything easily from the front. Okay, that makes sense. What do you mean by remote sense? Is that for on off? Because some of those are outputs, right? What can we do with T Broad? What can we do with PC integration? That seems super fancy. Okay, wait. It says on top. Do more with your instruments and PC together. No programming required. Oh, holy crap. Wow. Easily set up and view measurements, autom build automated tests in minutes, visualize and export data. That's pretty cool. Okay, wait. Pete looks, okay. The S plus and S minus lines are used to measure the voltage at the other end of your cabling. Oh, okay. So that even if you have some amount of voltage drop on your cable, you you can get it precise. Is that is that the idea? It's sort of a uh, like a a feedback loop on on the on on the business end of your of your cable. Is that the idea? Right. So your power supply can compensate for the IR loss between the box and the device you're powering. Yep. Got it. Oh, that's cool. How do you how do you make sure that you don't have uh have loss coming back the other direction on your sense lines. Pietlock is a is a good friend, um, KWF on Twitter, and uh, sorry if I'm outing you. And um, he he showed up in um in a couple videos in China, um, and uh, is a professional electrical engineer. So feedback loop right at the device under test. No current on the sense lines. Oh, okay, so low current, so therefore you can measure the voltage well. Yes, it works with bench view, Yoshi. Um, yes. Uh, okay, the question is, will bench view run on a Mac? <laughs> because that's what I've got right now. Um, if so, maybe we need to set it up. Okay, wait. Bench view. 
Oh, that's cool, T-Broad. It, uh, they say uh, a normal ATX uh, computer power supply also has sense lines. Must have a small wire run with 3.3, 5, and 12 volts. That's pretty cool. Oops. Uh, bench view. Okay. Can we do this? A free trial? Um, oh my god. Uh, okay, wait, hang, sorry, screen share. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is overwhelming. Whoop, sorry. Let's get this window in the right place, okay. What are we doing here? Timon, you're not you're not giving me very much hope here. Uh, he says no way any Keysight uh, software runs on a Mac. That's unfortunate. Uh, surely one of these is for power supply. Right. Let's get it. Let's let's actually follow the instructions on the on the box on the sticker. Keysight.com find BVFT. Okay. <laughs> Does it take us to the same place? Yes. Okay. Free trial. Do we just do this one? D -d -d control all the bench view apps. Details and download. Oh gosh. Okay, wait. I'm gonna do this off screen. Mm. Ah! I just showed it. Ah. Okay. Uh, uh, strange parts. Download. Oh, is it Windows only? I didn't get that far. Yep, runs on PC. Okay, well that's kind of a bust for now. I don't think I have any VMs set up for that, but that, that will be a future project here. All right. Um, oh gosh, Mac Prince, I'm not sure I'm up for writing my own software for this thing. Maybe. Um. I did see Teak. I did see they uh, announced the the um, arm powered Max today. Um, that's it's interesting. I didn't watch the full announcement. I just saw that they got announced. It sounded like it was more or less what people expected. Um, I was sad not to see a um, the only see the 13 inch MacBooks and not the 16. But I guess they just released the 16s. Okay. Ooh, Jesse, there is mobile software? Ooh, we could try that. Okay, wait, let's try that. Okay, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. App Store. Uh, key site. Uh... Gosh, Keysight, what do we want? We want Keysight Bench View. Bench View Mobile, sure. Get. All right, cool. Downloading. Visa commands. No, I haven't, I haven't looked into Visa commands. Yoshi. Um, Benchy Mobile is a companion app for key sites. Oh, dang it! <laughs> okay. And it requires installation of key site bench view software on your Windows PC. Well, dang. That doesn't sound like it's going to work. Okay. I just realized this camera is tilted. What's going on over here? Uh, hang on. Oh, okay. 
All right. Uh, okay, well, what else? Let's just play with this thing uh, and stop worrying about the software. Uh, okay, so we've done source settings, voltage current or obvious, over voltage protection, sense. What does sense mean? Also, how do I... Oh, use these. That's always voltage. I use this, enter. Four wire, two wire. Okay. I don't know what four wire sense is. Yeah, Israel, I think it might be time to get a PC. I have been... Uh, I have been reluctant, but I think between needing something for test devices like this um, and other hardware shenanigans, but also I'm realizing that streaming off of a laptop is not really the best thing. It, it has a hard time staying cool enough. Um, we lost our music. Let's fix that. I'm going to have to work on... Uh, getting some more music put together here. I just threw together a quick uh, playlist um, on epidemic sound so that I wouldn't get copyright strikes. Um, oh, Timon, okay, wait, hang on. There's a web UI? Web UI on port 80. Okay, wait. Does, this thing doesn't do Wi-Fi. I don't know. I don't know if I can give it a hardwired connection just because the router is across the room. Okay. You have a Spotify free copyright playlist for Twitch. I don't know if that's a question or an answer. I I have a. Uh, I'm using Epidemic Sound licensed music that I can stream with. Um, it's an answer. Oh, okay. Oh, I do? I don't know how that works, so Mobik. Let me know. Um, okay, wait, hang on. There's speculation. We can plug it in via Ethernet to the laptop. The laptop has USB ports, and that's it, because it's a Mac. Uh, oh, awesome. Thanks, Mobik. I'll check that out. Oh, cool. Okay. I will get that set up. I don't know if I've got all the routing set up properly to route to the right places. Um, okay, sorry. Um, da -da -da, can I bridge connections? I, I Yes, I do know how to do that, Yoshi. I just don't have an Ethernet port on the laptop. Um... And I think I have Ethernet cables, but I think they're only 10 foot. Hang on. Let me see if I can go find an Ethernet cable. I'll be right back. labeled Ethernet supplies. Ugh. What do we got? We got, I think these are 10 foot, but I might have couplers. Yes, I have some couplers. This will work. We'll make this work. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I have USB-C to Ethernet. I just, it's not down here at the shop. It's up at the house, so. Because uh, I haven't had a need for it up until now. All right. <laughs> Israel, I don't think you need to ship it to me. Um, I, I actually have a bunch of Ethernet cable here. Um, I could make one, but probably not right now. I think this will work. Okay. Somebody should research what else this thing can do that we haven't figured it out, we haven't discovered by just punching through the menus yet. Waveform modes and data logging? Jesus. 
Yeah, I saw there was a data logging menu. Data logger. Holy smokes. Does that log how much? Logs, wow. Does it log actual current draw? That's cool. Hello, Chippy Flip. Yes, I am on Twitch. Uh, newly, just as of the past like week. So welcome to the tribe here. Oh, I did miss the raid. I don't, I guess I'm not getting any notifications. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm still new to Twitch. I'm sorry. People are probably like subscribing and stuff too, and that's, I don't see, huh, I don't see where, oh, wait, hang on. I know why we're not getting any alerts. Hang on. Okay, now we should be getting alerts. Yeah, I don't have a sub button yet because uh, I'm not an affiliate yet on Twitch. Um, working towards that, I, I have all of the requirements met except that I just need to stream a few more hours. So, <laughs> we'll get there. Okay, I have, I have enough cable for adventures. I shall return. Oh god, you don't pull it off the desk. There's so much packing paper in here. Okay, plugged in to the router. I now have a chip wire running across the entire shop. Uh, utilities, let's look at that. IO, land status, running. Okay, 192.168.0.172. Cool. Let's try that. Okay. Let's get this up here. And we are going to do, hang on. Watch Scotty struggle with all the things. Okay. So, 192, 168, what was it? Zero. Dot 172, and we think it's on port 80. Ho oh, ho ho! Okay, it does a thing! That's exciting! Okay, wait. Uh, hang on, I want to... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, we're gonna add the top-down camera to this so we can see all the things. Okay. Oh, this is hanging on the wrong window here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, transition. Okay, cool. Oops. Well, something. Okay. So now we can see all the stuff. All right. What can we do with this? Okay. Yes, you gotta you gotta constantly be readjusting your streaming setup, Esden. All right. Uh, okay, let's play with this. So, Visa, Visa, Visa must be some sort of network protocol for test equipment. Is that right? Command protocol. Sweet. That's exciting. Front panel identical. Oh, sure, what is this? Control, control instrument. Uh oh, we need a password. Does this tell us what the password is? Hmm. Visa is for lab view. Yeah, cool. Admin, admin one, two, three. Do we really think that's it? No. Let's try it. 
try a password. Uh, key site. That worked. <laughs> okay. No. Oop. No. Should now or then. Ah. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. Is this synced with the screen? Slowly? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, wait. So can we click things here? Yes. That is cool. That's really slick. Uh, oh, and you can like turn knobs. Okay, wait, let's turn it this way. It's really slow. I'm trying to up the voltage. Oh, it's on. Oh, wow, if you click in, you get a detailed view. That's pretty cool. What am I doing wrong here? Uh oh. No, I don't want to lock it. Okay, that's changing settings now. Yeah, the uh, Esden, yeah, um, Daniel over at Keysight hooked me up. Uh, he, I ran into him at, uh, at Supercon last year. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty psyched. I, I actually don't own any proper test equipment. I've been kind of seeing my pants again for quite a while. And uh, so I'm pretty psyched. Does this work? It does. That is me turning the knob via. Ooh, Mac Prince found a Python module. Pi Visa. That could be fun. Yeah, as in I do too, and that is I need also need a proper oscilloscope, and that's what's in this box, I think. So I'm quite excited about that. Uh what else can this thing do? Okay, so we can do this. You can capture the screen, that's cool. Figure the land, that's probably not very interesting. Okay. That's amazing. Um da -da. oh SNMP, I haven't heard that in a long time. Uh, I have not found SNMP to be particularly uh, friendly. Okay. So what else can we do? We got a data logger. That's pretty awesome. What do we have in utilities? Store and recall, IO config. What's in here? USB status, LAN status, LAN settings, digital. What's GPIB? Does anybody know what that is? <laughs> of course you did, Piatlock. Piatlock used to work on um, on uh, equipment that went into chip fabs, and so he has played with lots of really fun toys. GPIB is an old school cable that can be daisy chained. Parallel bus for remote control. Cool. Yeah. Getting pretty intense, bro. <laughs> yeah, this thing is super intense. What is this? Digital IO pins. That's cool. I think these are for turning things on and off via the pins on the back. Yeah, SNMP was, was brutal last time I touched it, but that was a long time ago. Um, test setup. Calibration self-test, that's pretty cool. Awesome. It's pretty exciting. 
Yeah, yeah look, that doesn't surprise me that it's still in use, um, particularly on, on larger, bigger networks, but oh man, I, yeah. I did not have a good time with it. Okay, I need to order some test leads for this. I do have like uh, alligator clips, but um, I'm struggling to think, is there something we could do that'd be fun right now, this instant with it? Like, I mean, we could light up an LED, but I have, any, I have some motors or something. I don't know. Oh, that's cool. You can you can just send it raw commands on TCP on on TCP. That's cool. I honestly don't know how much use I'm going to have for automating this thing, as as several people have pointed out. Don't pull an electro boom. Yeah, that's not really my style. Um, Ping uh Some of it. Some of the hookup wire is what the top one is. Adafruit. And these two are from uh, Amazon, I think. So, if I want Pro Probe Master, that's terrifying. Probe Master. Oh. Okay. Cool. Okay, that's a great recommendation. Seems like a good place to get probes. Um, sweet. Uh, Omni Techmancer, it will do up to 10 amps at five volts, six volts, uh, and then two amps, and the other two are two amps at 25 volts. It's a free lathe. You lose your your shirt on the tooling and accessories. Yes. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a website you wouldn't want to go to on a public stream. Yes, I did have that thought. Um, but I know Esden, and I know he wouldn't do that to me. <laughs> okay. I want to see... Okay. Pietluck keeps saying that there are waveform functions. How do we get into that? Source settings? I don't know what the OCP stuff is. Overcurrent protection, probably. <sighs> Free as in puppy, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you did, Desden. As in, uh, I think it's I think it's a testament to your uh, to your character that it didn't occur to you to do that. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, let's punch this again. Over voltage protection, overcurrent protection is off. I don't know how to do this waveform stuff. Right, yeah, that, that's what I thought, Piet Lark. Overcurrent protection. That's pretty basic power supply feature here. I don't know about this waveform stuff. Shall we, shall we play with this thing more? Or shall we unbox what I think is the oscilloscope? Go back into data logger and turn an output on and off. Okay. Data logger. Uh, oh, I have to hit run. USB drive not present. Oh, you got to stick a USB drive in it. And then it logs to the USB drive. I don't want to see the scope. Okay, let's okay, let's move on here. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm more excited about I, I am excited about this. I this will definitely go to use. Um the oscilloscope will be more fun to play with, I think. Okay. <laughs> Timon, it yeah, that is late. Um 3 30 a.m., huh? Okay, okay, okay. Small box time. Power supply over there. I'm gonna have to completely reorganize this desk to be functional. I I thought that three desks here was completely ridiculous, and I feel like I'm constantly running out of space 
So I don't know what I'm gonna do to fix that, but I think stacked shelves lab style is what's coming next. All right, uh, let me switch cameras. Okay. Well, let's just go to this one while I'm cutting tape. Hang on. I always forget to turn the compressor off, and then it just randomly kicks on at random times. Okay. Good night, Timon. Sleep well. I will have fun with all the new toys, I promise. Okay. So, what do we got? Power cord. Okay, this is paperwork for your safety. We don't need that. Um, these look like probes. We will need those. More probes. What? <laughs> it came with a cardboard cutout that says power cord, but no actual power cord? Certificate of calibration. We'll use the, it's okay, we'll use the other power cord. I think this is a demo unit. It looks like it's been resealed, so it is possible that somebody stole a power cord. Okay. Let's see, let's uh, switch to top down here. Okay. Lighter. Yeah, they are imitating Apple. <laughs> The box is smaller because it doesn't have a power cord. No, I, I, I can't believe that that's a normal thing. And I am not going to knock them for not sending me a, a free power cord with my free oscilloscope. Okay. Well, let's do the most satisfying thing first. Uh, gotta figure out. Okay. Ready for the, the money shot? We have to pause the music for this. It might. Okay. <sighs> I love that. Okay. All right. That's pretty sexy. Okay. Wait, can you guys not hear music? Seriously? We went through this last stream. There should be background music. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Hang on. There, there should be music. I had the same problem last time. Oh, huh, sure, sure enough. enough. Uh... No? I don't know. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm hearing music through my headphones, which is why I've got them in, so they don't cause feedback. Uh, I installed something that routes sound, and I forgot what it's called. Sound source. Okay. Hang on, we got to screw with... Can you get... Uh, there's music? Yes, music. Oh gosh. Now I can't hear the music. Audio... I don't know. Now music, yes. I can't hear the music anymore, but if you guys can, sure. We'll just keep going. Um, yeah, I've got the, I've got the monitor set up for that. Someone subscribed, and I didn't hear the notification. Uh, whoever, or whoever followed, awesome. I, <laughs> I don't have these set up. 
Okay, there's still an echo. Audio's doubled. Oh no, okay. Alright, I'm just gonna turn this off and go back to the simple thing. Okay. Just that I can hear the music and you can't. Okay, I will fix that later. Can you at least... Can you hear me? No echo? I'm willing! Thank you for following! Welcome! You can get alerts now. Still an echo. Crap. Oh, I've really broken it now. Let's turn off all of the monitoring. How's that? Is that better? Came in before I got the music working. Well, geez. Is that any better? How about that? I've got it down to one source. Is that any better? Yes, okay. Okay, cool. Awesome, okay, we're just gonna rock that for now. All right, let's fire this puppy up. Let's see, so. Do -do. Okay, I have, I, I have more work to do on the audio, clearly. Uh, okay, let's tilt this up again. Okay, here we go. No, I need something smaller. What do I need? Here we go. Use the label printer. That works. Um. There we go. Okay. That's pretty good. Yes. Ish. Yeah, Mobik. I I have a bunch of that stuff already set up. I've got Soundflower and stuff, and yeah, I don't know. I I did something wrong. I still gotta dial it in. Okay, let's get some probes out here. All right. Let's see. Let's turn it on. Okay. This is exciting. Oh, it's got a function generator too. Really? Nick, I. Uh, Nick, you're asking, how did I come into this oscilloscope? Um, Keysight likes me and wanted to help equip the new lab here. So they said, can we send you over some test equipment? And I said, yes, absolutely. So this arrived in the mail late last week, and I have been waiting to unbox it on stream. So, oh, this label maker is great. But, um, it is all Wi-Fi and USB. Okay. Woo, these are nice. Okay. Let's... Plug this in. I'm gonna leave this capped for a minute. Okay, let's fire it up. Ooh, I like the purple. That's sexy. Nothing on the screen though? Here we go. Just takes a while to boot up. I do need to label the label maker. Um, this label maker is great because it, it works with an app on your phone and um, on your computer via USB or Wi-Fi and or like Bluetooth. And so you don't have to deal with the stupid little keyboard. You can just feed it a spreadsheet and have it spit out 100 labels at a time, which is awesome. Okay. All right. Okay. So. Um. We need... The little ground clips must be in here. Also, I need to put colored rings on it, clearly. Come on here. They heat shrink the... <laughs> they heat, heat sealed the Ziplocs. Okay. And we've got hook covers. All the standard stuff. You should just pop on here. Like so. So we can hook that onto a test point. And how many people here are not familiar with how oscilloscopes work? 
Raise your hand. We'll do a quick. Okay, so I'm going to put plug this into the test, the demo probe port. Okay. All right, so it's going to take a little while to dial this in. Trigger. There we go. This was triggering for a minute. There we go. Okay. Okay, there's our vertical scale. Yeah, Mobika, I've got some some audio filters running. Um, so yes, it is doing some some background uh, background noise reduction. All right. Uh, I, Liaz says I should uh, I should plug the power supply into the oscilloscope and see how stable the power supply is. That actually sounds like a good plan. I'm gonna have to find another power cable to make that happen. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, that would be cool, Jetpack Yoshi. Yes, I do have an audio cable we could probably cut the end off of. Um, let's let's play with this a little bit more. So this, so do I need to explain basic oscilloscoping? I haven't seen anybody say yes. All right, I'm getting the feeling based on who's in here that a lot of you know more than I do, <laughs> which makes me feel really awkward. Uh, okay, cool. Sweet. Definitely does a thing. Okay, and now the triggering seems to be working properly. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> Please do yes. Mac Prince, I don't know whether that was please do explain or please plug in the a microphone into the oscilloscope. Nick, this is not my first oscilloscope. This is not my first time using an oscilloscope. It is the first oscilloscope that I've owned. Uh, I've always begged, borrowed, and stolen oscilloscopes. So uh, it's I have needed this for a while. Okay, please explain. So there are at least a couple of people that would appreciate an explanation. So what we are looking at is imagine like a multimeter that can measure voltage, but this measures voltage over time and it does it very, very quickly. So we can measure a voltage signal that is oscillating or doing something. Right now I've just got it hooked up to the demo port, which is a um, outputs a known, a known signal right? It's outputting a square wave just so that we can check that everything is working properly. So I've got this probe would be normally what we, we hook up to the circuit that we're testing. Uh, I am just hooking this up to the demo. And then of course we have to have a ground as well. So what this waveform on the screen represents is for slices in time. <laughs> Shit! Welcome to the, welcome to the club. <laughs> That cracked me up. Okay. Uh, probe comp and Yes. So, well, this says demo and probe comp. So I think it is for both. Um, what just happened here? Van Gogh Carry, welcome to the tribe. Strange Parts Tribe, did I just pull on something here? Yes, this is also for calibration, but um, it is also just to get the thing to do a thing so you can watch it. Um, there we go. So the knobs that I'm adjusting, this one is horizontal, so it is how much time are we showing? And this is just a sample of what's happening. And then, uh, and then the vertical adjustment is how much voltage, it's basically like the amplitude of the voltage on the screen, if that makes sense. Um, and then the last thing that I've been adjusting is the trigger. And the trigger is um, 
allows you to, to get the signal to stay in one spot because each of these time slices, so let's see, where is our, so this right now, each of the vertical slices is one volt here. And then the horizontal slices are 500 microseconds each. Uh, and so if we move the trigger, the trigger basically says, uh, look for a change in signal and, and keep that change in signal in the same point in the, at the, uh, along the screen so that the, the rest of the, the signal doesn't move around on you. So I'm gonna move the trigger off and we'll see, it'll kind of scroll now. And so the trigger allows us to say, okay, this is the start of the signal that we want to watch. Um, and there are a lot of ways to, there's a lot of ways to configure all of these things. Oh, hey, Wisecracks, how's it going? All sorts of people are popping in. Yo, it's good to have you here. Um, uh, there are a bunch of friends and people I have met at various conferences and things in here, and it's awesome to have you all here. Um, okay, so I think I've given a somewhat coherent explanation of what an oscilloscope is. Um, allows you to see uh, very fast changes in voltage across time and allows you to look at signals. So there's, what I was saying is that there is a bunch of different settings that we can tweak. Um, and it, like trigger, there's a, a thousand ways on a scope like this to do triggers, right? So you can do it, you know, you can have delays, you can uh, have it on rising signals, on falling signals, and it's all just different tools to look at what you want to look at in a signal. I suspect that this thing also can do a bunch of different analysis. So we could feed in like a digital signal and it could do some decoding for us. Um, and I, of course, haven't figured that out yet, but, um, but in theory, it could do that. And then it sounds like it can also do waveform generation. So it can spit out a signal um, to drive a circuit of some sort. Israel, good to have you here. Um, good luck on homework. Awesome. Okay, so let's see. I, I like the idea of playing some audio into this. I don't know that it can play oscilloscope music, but it certainly could um, display oscilloscope music. Let's uh, let's see what we can do there. So, cables. I'm gonna sacrifice. Have a cable second. In the name of science. New toys. Oh, I do. I genuinely have one to sacrifice. I had bought one for the truck, uh, but I can genuinely sacrifice this and not feel guilty. Okay, wait. So, Amazon Basics audio cable. Put it in XY deflection mode. That sounds good. Yes, Ping Heian. Um, yes, there are a number of people in here I haven't met in person either, but uh, it's also fun. Hey, Pyro ESP. It's it's fun when uh, when it's people I know in real life popping in. Um, two. Can this oscilloscope do the X Y thing? I would imagine. But let's just uh, get it looking at a signal first. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna do the do the dirty D. Let's see, I'm gonna cut this in somewhat in half so I can use both ends. Okay. Woo! Alright. Haha. <laughs> Bought the same microscope. Awesome. Tensor Flux, welcome to the Strange Parts Club. We are Deep in oscilloscope mode. I am hacking apart cables to try and give it a signal to look at. All right, let's see here. Oh, 
thanks, Stendalicious. I am stoked for this shop setup, too. Uh, this place has a lot of possibilities. Okay. All right. This is... Nick Baring, welcome to Strange Parts. I gotta come up with a name for, for Strange Parts fans and followers. I was thinking like Strange Partners or Strange Particles. There's lots of things like that. Strange Participles. Strangies, the strangers. I do like strangers a lot. Um, you're not the first person to mention that and stranger is, uh, yeah, tickles my fancy in a, in a in a big way. Okay, so let's. This is a stereo cable, obviously. Okay, so we've got ground. Let's put some ground on there, and uh, put our probe cable on here. Let that one float. Okay. And then we'll plug this straight into the laptop and hope nothing explodes. Mm. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm no longer going to be able to hear notifications. So, that's a thing. Um, okay, I think we're going to have to fix the audio setup because, because we all need to be able to hear what we're doing. Um, okay. All right. Uh, what am I doing here? Hang on. Okay, we're gonna have to tweak the audio setup. I'm sorry. This will get exciting. Uh, what the heck was this sound source? Okay. So, yeah, Jetpack and Yoshi, they didn't look coded, so that that is a, a good point, but, um, okay. Whatever I did last, do it first. Okay, so, we have, uh, I have some routing here. Let's, oh, oh God. Uh, let's try quitting the little, I, I have, so I have an epidemic sound license and I'm running epidemic sound as a separate little app that I, I'm using the fluid thing for, for Mac that turns a web page into a into an app. It's basically just a, a web browser wrapper. Um, okay, and then and yet that is not showing up. Why? Okay, wait here. Okay, epidemic sound is routing to Soundflower two channel. Then we have uh, desktop audio, which is Soundflower two channel coming in. Okay, so let's play that and see if you guys can hear it. Okay, can you guys hear music? Yes, no. Yes. Yes to music. Okay, sweet. We're getting somewhere. Uh, okay. Okay, yes to music. Now, why can't I hear it? Second question. Audio. Trying to get the uh, audio monitoring to work here. Should come through my headset. Um, advanced audio properties. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, desktop audio monitor and output. Close. Oh, it's still nothing. Settings. Okay, wait. Let's pipe it in through speakers. Oh, let's see. So we also are going to need to output it through the external headphones. 
Oh, jeez. All right, we've really got to get this working or we're in trouble. Uh, audio. Okay, wait, I'll do this. <laughs> I'll share my screen as I'm configuring this and you can all tell me what I'm doing wrong. Screen share. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So. <laughs> this stream has now turned into OBS configuration. Everybody's exciting, most exciting thing. Okay. So, audio. We are going to go with. I don't know. Default? For now. And. The output is, let's go with speakers for now. You guys can hear the music. I can't. Why is that? Epidemic sound. It's out of favorite. OBS. using the right global devices. Yeah. Jetpack Yoshi, yeah, I, I, I feel like there should be an OBS crash course, but I feel like I've already been through that. I feel like I've gotten this working before. I had it working yesterday really well. And I just, oh, I have to hit apply, I bet. Wait. Yes, that was it, I wasn't hitting apply. Okay, wait. Okay, so we're going to route this I guess I'm not gonna be able to hear it because it's gotta go out through the external headphones. Okay, but you guys will be able to hear it. And we'll be able to see it on the oscilloscope in theory. Okay, I think, I think we're in business. Let's try this out. Ready? Here we go. We'll get in. Mm, not yet. A wheel? Yeah, uh, now you can't hear. What? back. Oh, it might have been... No, it wasn't switching songs. Music is back. Okay. Yes. And are we outputting to where we think we're outputting to? External headphones. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Is there audio now? Yes or no? I think there should be audio now. Yes, there is audio. Okay, okay, cool. But we're not getting any on the output on the oscilloscope. I think this is just noise, but I don't know. I don't actually know what sort of amplitude we should be seeing here. Anybody else know? Yeah, what sort of, yeah. I mean, there is a signal here. The question is, oh, here we go, if we unplug it. Is it different? Yes, I think so. So I think we are getting a signal here. It seems too regular though. Mm. Okay, 
where's our trigger? Oh, it's way up high. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so if I unplug this from this cable, yeah, that's something. Do we think that's actually an audio signal? Let's find um let's find a uh 1.3 volts peak to peak. I don't think we have that. No, we're down in the like millivolt range. This is like 0.5 millivolts. So we might be just looking at noise. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna get a pair of headphones and test the, the music's actually coming out of the speakers. Hi headphones. Oh man, I went out and shot something today. I brought headphones, and now I don't know where they are. It's rapidly coming off the rails. <laughs> Sorry guys. There's someone here, they might be in the car. Audio gear. Uh... Be right back. I'm gonna go look for headphones. Some spares. Okay. Uh, all right. That plan's not gonna work. Hang. On. AirPods and iPhone. Okay. Wait. Uh. Thank you for bearing with me here. Let's switch this to default. The output device. And. Okay. It comes through the speakers. So that should be going in here. Let's try the other side of this. I don't know, geez. It feels way too regular to be an audio signal. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm glad this feels like an organic live stream. Cannot. Possibly think where I put my headphones. Like a big pair of studio monitor headphones. Oh, here they are. I got them. Okay. Aha. It's a good thing I keep a, a very orderly shop here. All right. Hang. The Bandit Dave, welcome. We're glad to have you as a stranger. It's part of the Strange Parts family. All right. Let's try this. Oh, now I can barely hear myself. Okay. I don't see anything now. Okay, you guys can hear the audio. I cannot. All right, let's look at the OBS setup once again. Wait, what's going on? Uh, oh, hang on. Set the volume. 
turned down? I had the volume turned down. <laughs> the dumbest error of all time. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn the volume all the way up. That was so dumb. Very sorry. <laughs> okay. Why? Oh, we just switched songs. Glitcher, welcome to being a stranger as part of the Strange Parts clan here. Okay, we did. We now have the volume up on the external headphones. That looks more interesting. Okay, let's pause the music and just verify that. Okay, let's look for a different signal now. We have something. No? It's still very low amplitude. Yes, we are. This is a brand new oscilloscope, and uh, courtesy of Keysight, they were very generous in hooking me up with a couple pieces of test gear for the new lab here. And uh, we were trying to get it to do something interesting, and so we thought we'd we'd pipe some music through it. Uh, and I'm struggling with the uh, the audio configuration between the the laptop and streaming and all of this. So, um, so where are we at? Okay, now we're getting something that looks like an audio waveform here. That looks better. It's still in the millivolt range. But let's just hit pause on the music. Yeah. Okay, I believe that we are actually looking at an audio signal now. Does everybody else believe that or am I crazy? Turn the sampling frequency down. How's that? Yeah, okay. So. Yeah, I think it's audio too. And I, I particularly think it's audio because when I pause it, it changes. So I'm gonna go with yes, we are looking at audio. Um, now. Okay, definitely audio, yes. Okay, can we pull up like, like a sine wave on YouTube? Okay. Sine wave. Y'all are gonna have to tell me if this is too loud. Oh, tone generator, that'll work. This is a much ris less risky click than Probe Master was earlier, courtesy of Esden. Okay. Y'all are gonna have to tell me how loud this is here. Um, and if it's too loud, we'll, we'll tone it down. Tone it down? Uh, all about the inadvertent puns today. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this volume kind of low here. Let's pause the music. Let's make sure that we're routing. Uh, the browser into Soundflower. And then we're going to hit play. OK. Do you guys give me a thumbs up, thumbs down? Well, let me see. Do I hear it? Yes. Just let me know if it's annoying and if I should turn it down to you guys. Is that good? Is it annoying? Super annoying. Okay, we can turn it down. Okay. All right, for science. Okay. Ooh, I see a sine wave in there. 
It's so noisy. Super noisy. Okay, that's... That's interesting. That is just hooked up to ground. Okay, let's see. Let's turn it down in frequency. Uh, 60 hertz. Um, if I change this volume, does it change? Oh, yeah, okay. And then that affects what you guys hear. Uh-oh. Uh... Okay, well, is that super annoying? I've just cranked it up a bit. But that... I changed the, the volume of it coming through the stream, which affects uh, the volume coming out through the computer. You can't hear it? Okay, well... Somebody hears it. Can barely hear it. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's only 60 hertz, so it is pretty low range. Okay, so we have an audio signal. Now, the, the original plan was to do some XY crazy oscilloscope music. Um, I assume that you hook up two probes, one to the left channel, one to the right channel, and then put it in XY mode. Does that sound right to people? Yes. Okay, so let's get another probe out. And... It's very ironic. I live with a professional sound engineer, sound recording engineer, and I spent all weekend pouring concrete to build her a, um, a recording studio in the backyard. And here I am wrestling with audio <laughs> all stream. Okay, so let's plug the second probe into two. I got all I got a baggie of all these little uh, um, color doohickeys for for telling which probe cable you've got, but I'm, I'm not gonna stop and put those on yet. Okay, so now. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Let's switch to this. So I'm getting our, our wires all set up, which are super blurry. So we're going to hook the other cable up to the other channel, which I assume is left, but it's not red. And then we got to hook that up to ground. Oops. So both of these get hooked up to ground, like so. Okay, now. We have every reason to expect that both of these channels should work, right? So let's put this one up here. And let's see, okay, sweet. So I'm just kind of making sure we're getting a signal on both right and left, and we are. So uh, this is the right audio channel, this is the left audio channel. Um, okay. Yeah, it's not too big a deal if the connectors touch, I don't think. Um, I don't think the computer will be too bothered and the oscilloscope definitely won't be, so I'm not too worried. Um, okay, so. Now, we need some some good, well, I guess we need to figure out how to put it in XYZ mode. Um, now, 
yeah, it will mess with the signal, but I think it'll be obvious. Um, I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Um, the us. Uh, sorry, let me bump up the. Can't I can hardly read chat. I'm going half blind. Clearly. Right. So X Y the. <laughs> yes, Pyro ESP. We do want to put it in X Y Z mode. I agree. The question is how to do that. Suggestions are welcome. Oh, you are all posted above. Okay, here. Yoshi's got the hookup. Uh, XYZ mode, okay. Oh. Auto scale. Okay, and then press acquire. Where is acquire? <clears throat> acquire and then time mode XY. How do I move down? I think it's oh, probably this one. There we go. Sweet. Okay, so I need to explain what's going on here for those that aren't familiar. Um, I don't know how I adjust. Whoa. Okay. So here's what's going on. We have a right channel and a left channel, right? We had them displayed on top and bottom. Now we are saying that one channel is the X coordinates and the other channel is the Y coordinates and the shape will change over time. So now we are going to change. I don't know how to recenter it. Do you think there's a way to recenter it? Okay, we're not going to worry about that for right now. What we're going to do is we are going to turn off the tone generator. Stop. And we're going to play some oscilloscope music. Oh, for Jiro Beam's videos, left is horizontal, right is vertical. I don't really know. Okay, hang on. Let's go back to the tone generator. So. Uh, so the red one, I think red is probably the right channel. And that is currently horizontal based on what I just did. Because I, I disconnected white, which is the, I believe, channel two, because we put that in second. Um, and that looks like it's vertical. So let's swap these. Okay. I guess I could just swap the other end, but this is relatively straightforward. Okay. Ta-da! Okay. So now we have, it sounds like the right setup here, according to Yoshi. Okay. Here we go. Oh, no ads, please. His looks better than mine. <laughs> What's going on? What do we think? I don't know. I've not really used. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. No, hang on. This is not what we want to be doing. This is fine. What we want to be doing... Ooh, that's good. Okay, what we want to be doing is changing vertical for both channels. Uh, no, not that. This. Here. So this is sort of scale, essentially. Well, can we center it? Oh yeah, that works. Here we go. Um, uh, so it feels stretched. Uh, oops. Okay, that's centered ish. 
and we want to increase. Okay, so that's our horizontal scale. Let's do it like there, and then vertical. And then I don't understand how the time component changes here. Ooh, that's looking like something. Uh, try running on battery for a moment. That's not a bad idea. I've actually got two different power supplies plugged in. Okay. Ooh, that's better. That was a good idea. What else have we got? We've got a lot of cameras hooked up, too. Oh, we kind of see what's going on now. Okay, wait. Um, I think... That is not bad. We're seeing some stuff. I can't see chat anymore, because I've unplugged my external monitor, which was providing power laptop. Nor can I find... Oh, that doesn't work anymore. My mouse doesn't work, because it's plugged into the monitor. Oh, right. You lost the camera, because that's plugged into the monitor. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm still dialing in this uh, streaming setup here. Gotta wait for the monitor to come back. Hello. I feel like the music stopped. I can't hear it on my end because it's all going to the scope end. Oh, we've got, <laughs> we've got, okay, here, skip add. Yeah, this is weird. It, it, uh, it feels like we've got something backwards maybe? Should we try swapping them? Did we do that already? I can't remember. Let's try swapping them again. No, that's not very different. There's something wacky here that feels... Ooh, that's better for... Sorry, I didn't realize how bad that camera image was. Yeah, I like that idea, Pyro ASP, to just use two sine waves to try and get a circle. I don't know. Okay, wait, let's stop this. Can we use this tone generator? Oh, sorry. Oh, that was still playing. I thought that was off. That would screw us up. Ha! Jesse, that's a great idea to use the power supply to generate sine waves. Um, I don't know what it can do in that front. I think the scope can generate sine waves, but probably only one channel. Okay, so let's just try this again. This is more promising. Yes. A lot more promising. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, ooh. And then back. So I'm just trying to center it right now. Yeah, I thought I had hit, hit stop on the tone generator, and I guess I hadn't. Um, it's so noisy. It's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, that kind of looks like what's on the screen, huh? Cool! Can I make the scope on the big screen? Yes. Here. And then let's see if we can add the screen share. Oops. Oh, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. 
Hang on. Goofing it all up. Okay, there. Ta -da! Okay, so we can kind of look at them together. I wonder if we need to now play with the time component. That's pretty crazy. I'm a little disappointed that it's not um, higher fidelity here. But I wonder if it's just a matter of the, the audio output not being that great. Yeah, I feel like, oh, here we go. Yeah, you're right, Yoshi, if I get, wait, uh, this is faster, okay. That's better than it was. something like what we're seeing on YouTube ish okay I want to go back to the beginning because it was simpler and slower huh <laughs> yes yes that looks right. I think we have a winner here. Uh, green should be vertical. We had a winner, and then I mess with it. There. That's not too shabby. Oh, Esden, I bet you're right that the ducking is screwing with this. Let's try that. Uh, audio filters. Turn off the compressor. How's that? Is that better? Did that change anything? I think that's more stable. Cool. Oh yeah, it was, it was, I wasn't paying attention when I was speaking, but I think you're right, Ezin. Have I tried changing to AC coupling? No, I have not. Is that better? At least we'll help us center it. I think that's sort of the best time frequency is I can find. Oh, I have to do it for both channels. That's channel two, channel one. Yeah, just it just helps us with centering, right? 
don't think it really does much for us outside of that. Yeah, there we go. It's pretty good. Now drop the intensity. Yes, I agree. <laughs> Where is that knob? Uh... Do you have any hints? The entry knob. Just straight up. Oh, here. Somewhere in there. I think actually turning it up seems better. Um. It's kind of interesting if we get a really fast sample rate and then turn the probe down, or the intensity down. I don't know. That's getting there. Yeah. Sorry, I'm having a hard time seeing both at once, but if I look at the what you guys are seeing, it looks not too best shabby. Okay, let's rewind it again. Whoa. That's pretty trippy. I want to start back to where it was simple. Oh, now it's really hard to see. How's that? Yeah. There's oscilloscope music software, Esden? I didn't know that. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but... The Mushroom Song. Okay, let's go look, go look at this dude's channel. Welcome, good people of the internet. How to draw a mushroom. Today I'm going to show you how to draw mushrooms on an oscilloscope. Oh, we definitely got this backwards. Sound. Okay, hang on. We're gonna use we had it right the first time. channel for horizontal deflection, and our right audio channel for vertical deflection. Now first we need a sine wave on our horizontal deflection channel, and a cosine wave on Oops. our vertical hang deflection on, channel. That's not work for you guys. Okay, here we go. Oh, this same guy? Holy crap. That's pretty awesome. Welcome, good people of the internet. Okay, I want to see this work. Today I'm going to show you how to draw mushrooms on an oscilloscope. Yeah, I'm not super familiar with him. I, I mean, I know that that uh, oscilloscope music uh, exists, but I didn't know about him in particular. Now, this is quite cool. We need a sine wave on our horizontal deflection channel and a cosine wave on our vertical deflection channel. Together, they add up to a beautiful. I don't think I did meet Jerbeam. Was he at Supercon or or camp or, or Congress or something? Alter its size and shape by increasing or decreasing. Yeah, this is awesome, and I'm really happy we're getting it working. Now we add a sawtooth waveform to the right channel. Our circle or ellipse turns into a spiral. To get this spiral into the shape of a mushroom, we need to multiply our left channel with a sine wave of the same frequency as the sawtooth. Oh, he was at tour camp. I was not at tour camp. But we're only gonna use the signs last. Hey, Jay Brynjan! That's awesome! He says, 
You got me interested in cell phones. Just like uh, now I own a cell phone repair store. That is awesome to hear. Um, yeah, that's super, super cool. Um, I hope it's, I hope your business is going well. Uh, oh wow, this is off the charts That's again. why we now okay. add another sawtooth multiplied with a cosine wave of a slightly that mushroom different was looking frequency cool. to our left channel. Okay, it's too tall. There. We can increase the number oh, of that's mushrooms looking great. by dividing the cosine's frequency by two. Yeah. By three. That's looking awesome. Sweet. Adding square waves, we get even more I'm curious if he, how he is displaying this. Is this in his software, or is this a, uh, a, a um, in fact, we can play camera image player of player. a analog scope? I'm very curious. I'm curious to go look at this software now. Uh, oh, this looks slick. Oh, wow. Well, I think we're pretty obligated to try this out now. Oh, yeah, I have to buy it. Okay. But I think this maybe this is a cheaper stream then. This is quite cool. Wow, this looks intense. Oh, you can use it in Blender? That's nuts. Hey, you guys. I want to show you something amazing. Yeah, as in this is quite cool. I I'll have to play with this more. I think I might, um, I might have to wrap up the stream here. I am supposed to meet folks for dinner, and uh, I, I was supposed to be up there a long time ago. So this has been super fun. I am very excited to keep playing with this oscilloscope, um, and uh, see what else we can do. It, it looks like it can do quite a lot, um, and it's got an Ethernet jack on the back. So, so uh, yeah. We have to get it on the network and, and all of that. Um, thank you all for joining me. Um, yes, Pyro ESP, I have seen the Smarter Every Day video. I didn't realize it was with Jiro Beam, so I hadn't made the connection. Um, but uh, yeah, um, thank you all for tuning in. This has been really fun. And um, I have, as a little sneak preview, I don't know, nobody's mentioned it. I have two iPhone 12s uh, still in the box that beg to be taken apart. Uh, and I have a stack of USB-C to lightning cables. So you can guess where we're headed with that. Uh, that will be tomorrow's stream, uh, probably like late afternoon mountain time. So I, I still haven't set like a full schedule yet, I'm sorry. I'm kind of working towards that, but um, yeah, keep, uh, keep your eye out for the notifications. If you're not already in Discord, jump into Discord. There is a um, invite link in the about section of the channel on Twitch. So um, come join us. It's a really chill group of folks, um, geeky, and uh, I announce in there when I live stream. So if you're not getting Twitch notifications, you prefer to get them through Discord, um, you can get them there. Um, yeah, we'll see about the, the headphone jack. I think probably we'll head just for USB-C. I think uh, the real issue on this is gonna be space. So we're gonna take one apart and see what kind of space there is to jam things in, we'll do some teardowns on cables. Um, I don't know if that'll all happen on the stream tomorrow, but uh, at least some of that will. And um, we'll see what the possibilities are. So. Yes, I have seen the non-replaceable rear camera. I don't know what to think about that yet. It looks like a bug to me, honestly. I, it doesn't look like they're they're trying to be malicious there, but um, I think time will tell there. And we'll see what happens when Shenzhen kind of works their magic on, on what's possible. But uh, for now, I'm gonna sign off. Have a good night. Um, and uh, I'll hopefully see a lot of you tomorrow to uh, take some iPhones apart. Take care.